Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Isha Dhanewad from Carmen Residential and Day School, Prem Nagar. I hope you all are doing well and staying at home and being safe. Today, in this video, we will learn about the Indian Constitution or the historical background or the events that led to the making of the Indian Constitution. As we all know that India was under the colonial rule of the Britishers or the Britishers ruled India. The Britishers exploited the Indians socially, physically, culturally and economically, especially when they levied heavy taxes on the poor Indian farmers and reduced the import duties so that they can take the raw materials from India to England, produce manufa and manufacture goods and bring back the finished goods to the Indian market and sold them at a very high price. Because of this, many revolts and rebellions took place so that India could attain independence from the British government. For example, the revolt of 1857, the non-cooperation movement 1920, and the Quit India movement in 1942. Now, as we all know that the Second World War took place from 1939 to 1945. Now, Britain actively participated in the Second World War and on behalf of the Britain, the Indian soldiers went and fought in the wars in army and in the navy. After the Second World War or when the Second World War was over, Britain was bankrupt as it had funded the war by taking loans from the US and Canada. Now the Indian soldiers who were there fighting for the British India knew that Britain was bankrupt and the poor condition of Britain in the global arena. So when they came back to India, they started violent revolts and rebellions to attain independence. The revolts were so violent that even the Indian National Congress could not suppress it. So in response to this, a cabinet mission was sent by the Britishers to India in 1946. The cabinet mission was sent to transfer the powers from the British government to the Indian administrators peacefully. Now, the cabinet mission uh, wanted to have a constituent assembly. What is a constituent assembly? It is a body which is responsible for drafting the constitution or the rules or guidelines for a country so that it could govern it properly. So a constituent assembly was elected for the first time in India in 1946 but the cabinet mission failed because the Indian National Congress and the Muslim League did not agree on how India would be reorganized after its independence. The Indian National Congress wanted unity and a united India whereas the Muslim League wanted partition and a separate state for Muslims which is Pakistan. As a response to this, the Indian Independence Act 1947 was passed and it declared India and Pakistan as two separate nations. So India became an independent country, so as Pakistan. Now, since India became an independent country, it had to have its independent constituent assembly as well as its own constitution for the people of India. Therefore, an interim government was formed with the elected members 
of the constituent assembly under the leadership of jawaharlal nehru the ja then this constituent assembly was responsible to draft the indian constitution and the drafting committee of the indian constitution was guided by dr b r ambedkar who was responsible for the making of the indian constitution which almost took 3 years to be formed thank you be stay at home and be safe